Hi, welcome back to the Guzzy Sound channel. In my last Project 12 module build video, it was the modulator. And I got a comment from the inner loop asking, well, suggesting that regardless of what you put into it, because it's a logic chip, you'll always get the square wave output. Because the logic is 0 to 1 on or off and if it's the two states just on or off then excuse the pun but logically that is a square wave and I thought well yeah that makes sense but I didn't actually have a look at what the waveforms looked like and I have a mini oscilloscope that will allow me to do that so I've set a batch up here and we've got as for the inputs to the modulator, we've got a saw wave going into input 1, we've got a triangle wave going into input 2, and then we have an output. Now I'm passing all these through the passive mixer, the pan module at the top there, simply because that then allows me to share the signals with the oscilloscope so we can have a look at what all the various waveforms look like and have a look at what the output really is doing. OK, uh, I'm going to do my crude manual zoom in, which is actually moving the stand that the camera's on. There we have the saw wave input, and that's what's going to input one on the modulator and you can see it is most definitely a saw wave. If I move the scope signal up to input two that is very clearly a triangle wave. But what's coming out? Well, that's what it sounds like. So, yeah. Sounds like possibly it could be a square wave. Although, yeah, it's definitely modulated in some way. What does it look like? Let's have a look. And lo and behold we have a square wave. I'll press hold. We can see that it's a square wave, but it's actually a modulated square wave. So yeah, thank you to the inner loop, sparking my curiosity to go and experiment with this but not finished yet. That got me to thinking as well. So what about what the output from my passive ring modulator module that I built a while back, which has got the classic diode ring and transformers in it. What does that look like? Click zoom out. I'm calling it zooming. I'm not zooming. I'm, I'm literally just panning the camera by swinging on the thing that it's mounted on, which is actually a microphone stand. Um, OK, so if I take input one, um, which is a saw wave, and put that into the input of the ring modulator, take input two and put that as the input to the carrier, and then take the output and put that into the output and we'll just set up the scope to see what's happening. We can hear what's happening. Which doesn't sound anywhere near as harsh as what was coming out of the modulator module. Okay, let's pan down to the 
scope again. And indeed, it doesn't look anything like what was coming out of the modulator module. In fact, if I do a, a hold, there's nothing there that particularly looks like a square wave. It looks like a combination of triangle waves and sawtooth waves which is exactly what you'd expect to see if you were modulating a triangle wave and a saw wave against each other. So this kind of also takes me back to a comment I made in the vid build video for the modulator module when I said did I think that it actually qualifies as a ring modulator and I, I said not quite because it doesn't have the classic diode ring and the transformers. And in actual fact, because of the way that it handles the signals and then modulates whatever input you've got into a modulated square wave, then in terms of what you'd expect from a classic ring modulator, no, I was right. It's not a ring modulator. Not as I would think of it but it is a modulator and it does produce some nice interesting outputs from mixing inputs so there you go um two different types of uh, modulator one is a true ring modulator which for me actually fits the description well and the other is a logic modu uh, modulator which has its own place and even though you're only ever going to get a square output you can actually still do some quite interesting things with it so whichever one you fancy then go on have a go build one or better still go on have a go build both just go and search out the videos on the cozy sound youtube channel i hope you found this interesting it certainly sparked my interest and yeah I'm glad I did it. Thanks for watching.